10 Things You Missed in Naruto Hinata's Wedding For fans of the series, Naruto and Hinata's wedding at the end of Shippuden was the perfect end to the series. It gave us so many great moments. For fans of the series, Naruto and Hinata's wedding at the end of Shippuden was the perfect end to the series, giving us so many great character moments. While the height was getting to see Hinata and Naruto finally become a family, it was far from the only noteworthy development throughout the event. In the lead up to that moment, almost every main character got some development, from Sakura and Ino realizing they helped push each other to new heights to Kiba finding his future wife. They are far from the only things that happened in the backdrop of the wedding, many of which may have been missed. 10. Kakashi turned the wedding into a mission to ensure everyone made it. Doing this was a slight abuse of his power by Kakashi, as he was prioritizing the wedding over everything else. But it was the right decision considering how many people owed their lives to Naruto. Not only that, it was the proper way to pay respect to his former pupil and future Hokage. He even made it a mission for the attendees to find the best gifts possible for the pair, making sure the day was as special and perfect as it could be for the loving couple. 9. Rock Lee Might Guy got both Hinata Naruto dumbbells. Neither Rock Lee nor Might Guy can be confused with overly serious people, nor are they the smartest characters in the series. When it came time to decide on a gift to get the soon-to-be-married couple, both of them had to do laps around all of Kanoha to come to a decision. Rock Lee even needed a dream of Niji to help him come to his. In the end, they both came to the same items, a set of dumbbells. Unsurprisingly, they cried tears of joy once they found the perfect gift. 8. Ten Ten worried she'd have the worst gift at the wedding. Due to her fascination with weaponry, Ten Ten had very little money to spare, which made finding the perfect gift tough. She'd planned on a kunai but worried that it was too predictable of her. She also worried about what it would say about her, inferring that she cared more for weapons than finding a partner like Hinata had. Thankfully for her, Rock Lee and his dumbbell gift existed, putting her worries at ease. Rock Lee even showed up wearing a dress to make sure she didn't give the same gift he did. 7. The wedding helped bring Shikamaru and Temari closer together. The two had always had unspoken bond, but it wasn't until Shikamaru had to ask her advice on what sort of honeymoon Hinata would like that those feelings progressed. Shikamaru phrased his question so poorly that Temari thought he was asking what they would want on their honeymoon, leading to a tour of the hot springs. By the end of the day, everything was finally cleared up, however, the redness on Tamari's face the whole encounter made it obvious they were going to be a pair for life. 6. Narutomaki became the most popular topping at Ichiraku Ramen due to Naruto. By the time of the wedding, Naruto's popularity was at its absolute height. He'd saved not only the village but the entire world during the war. Which had turned him into a beloved figure. He became so beloved that shinobi were flocking to Ichiraku Ramen in droves to order a bowl of Narutomaki in hopes that it would bring them the same luck that it gave Naruto for years. It's a sharp shift considering Narutomaki used to be the least favored topping before. 5. Choji passing out from a blood sugar overload. Food and Choji go hand in hand like peanut butter and jelly. They are never seen one very far from the other. Choji always stuffing his face with something every chance he gets. He even included himself in his wedding gift to Hinata and Naruto a meal at a nice restaurant. However, what got him in the most trouble leading up to the wedding is Ino and Sakura's contest to see who was the better cook. He was chosen as the judge and ended up with a sugar overload from how sweet their rations were, passing out from it. 4. Naruto inspired Iruka to find a life partner. Surprisingly, Naruto's marriage with Hinata led to many other characters resolving to find relationships of their own. 
It helped Shikamaru and Temari take it up a notch and made Iruka realize that he wanted the very same thing. He knew he wouldn't get to have dinner at a Chiraku ramen with Naruto much longer due to Hinata cooking for Naruto now. It's a shame that he never ended up finding anyone by the time Boruto rolled around. 3. Iruka admitting he would have become Mizuki had it not been for Naruto. He's a minor character in the grand scheme of things Iruka only having importance at the very start of the series, but it was great that he got a moment to shine during Naruto's wedding. Naruto asking Iruka to be a stand-in for his father at the wedding was an emotional moment and showed how much the teacher meant to Naruto. It went both ways, Iruka admitting he could have ended up bitter like Mizuki. Consumed only by a desire for power. 2. Shino is able to find his purpose while searching for honey wine. Throughout his life, Shino has always been a bit aimless, going through the motions in much of the same way Shikamaru was until Asuma's death. Leave it to Naruto and Hinata's wedding to help him discover who he was always meant to be. While searching for honey wine, Shino and Kiba get lost in a fog that tries to help people find their way. For Shino, that meant discovering that he'd be a good teacher, something he'd never considered before. By Boruto, that's what he becomes. 1. The final moments of the wedding callback to how Naruto and Hinata once were. In the final moments before the wedding begins, Naruto and Hinata are figuratively transported to the people they once were. Stripped away is all of the maturity and seriousness that has overtaken both of them. Instead, Hinata is once again staring bashfully at Naruto, the man who she's had a crush on for years. And Naruto looks on equally embarrassed. It's a nice reversion that shows just how much the two of them mean to each other and that they can be themselves without judgment.